Hello, I'm Belkis Perez. Coming up on Coral Gables Now, we will give you a taste of Taipei, Taiwan without even getting on a plane. Plus, wait until you see the flowers that are soon to be blooming at Cartagena Plaza. And patients are getting state-of-the-art treatment at Doctors Hospital. Those stories and much more when you join me right now for Coral Gables Now. Welcome to Coral Gables Now. I'm Belkis Perez. Coral Gables is home to more than 30 consulates and foreign trade offices representing countries from all over the world, far away countries, even like Taiwan. Now, joining us today is the Director General of the Taipei Economic and Cultural Office in Miami, Ray Mao. Thank you so much for being here with us. Good morning. Good morning. Um, let's start off by uh, by saying that the, ta the Taipei uh, Economic and Cultural Office is located in the Western Colonnade Hotel, which is in Coral Gables. Um, can you tell me for how long it's been there? It's over 21 years already. Wow. So, so you've had a very strong presence in all mm -hmm. that time here in Coral Gables. Amazing. Thank you. Um, the office now is called the Taipei Economic and Cultural Office in Miami, but yes. it's located in Coral Gables. It is. So how, how did that come about? Uh, mm -hmm. Why Coral Gables at this point? Well, you know, Coral Gable has excellent location. <laughs> it's very close to the airport. It's close to the city and to the Brico. Also, uh, it's very close to some of the major Taiwanese community in the south side of uh, Miami area, Miami-Dade oh. County. So for all these reasons, I think location, location. You know, Ma C Coral Gables is a beautiful city, safe and uh, also very friendly, and it's uh, internationalized. So all these reasons, give us the first priority to choose this place. Hmm. Now, um, how many Taiwanese would you say live in Miami and in Coral Gables? In Miami, I think we have uh, approximately over 10,000 Taiwanese immigration and the second generations. Okay. Yes, in Coral Gables, I think it's over uh, uh, 1,000 more. Okay. Now, do you notice that those numbers increased, or uh, is there any way of tracking them? Uh, we contact them on a uh, regular basis. You know, we have uh, community events, and also we have uh, community organizations and Chinese uh, language school. So based on all these uh, groups of population, the members and their families, so we can make an estimation. And also based on the census of the United States every 10 years. Okay. Now, what is the mission of the office? We are, uh, have a major uh, mission here is to uh, improve the bilateral relations between the United States and Taiwan, Republic of China. Especially uh, my service area, area cover Florida, Puerto Rico, and a few uh, Caribbean islands. Your area just covers all that? Yes. Your uh, office covers, uh, wow. Major service area is uh, this Sunshine State. Now, uh, so the mission is to, to not only uh, provide services to, to, to the Taiwanese people living here, correct? Uh, that's our uh, one major mission to serve our community, uh, to uh, improve the relations with them, also have the, let the second generations learn more about Chinese culture, Taiwanese culture, and the language. And beside that, uh, we're making friends with uh, American uh, government, with the academic field, business. You know, also, trade promotion is one major task for my office here. We work with the, another center called Taiwan Trade Center in Miami. It's like a team. So these two our two office uh, working closely, and then we are uh, helping the delegation, uh, the businessmen, the tribal to, to this direction, and also to explore the trade opportunities with the Caribbean and Central South America. Mm -hmm. So that's part of our job. And and how about um, uh, promoting tourism uh, for those that are not from Taiwan? Mm -hmm. uh, is that also uh, part of the mission? We want to improve the bilateral uh, tourism. Uh, opportunities. We welcome uh, American friends to visit Taiwan to understand the culture, the people, uh, and the democracy. You know, it's a free 
open society in, of Taiwan. Also, we have a delicious uh, Chinese cuisine <laughs> <laughs> in Taiwan for uh, generations. It's famous everywhere. Also, the most uh, precious uh, treasure of the collection of art pieces. It's a uh, nation nation National Palace Museum. It's a beautiful collection. Mm -hmm. It's world famous. It's like a French Paris robe. Right. Mm. You have some beautiful artwork in your office as well, in, in oh, the lobby of the office. Already. Very yes, nice. Yes, yes. So it's Thank you. Yes. Um, now, do you? How do you carry out your mission? Um, I know that you do a lot of educational campaigns. Um, what else do you do to to try to promote uh, Taiwanese uh, culture and um, and promote more business relations? Well, for cultural corporations, this year we are happy we have done quite a lot. Uh, in September, we participated in the third annual conference between the higher education between Taiwan and Florida universities in Orlando. In that event, we signed the first uh, uh, letter of intent with the uh, Florida private universities. It's called ICAF, uh, Independent College and University of Florida. And what is the content of this, I of this uh, IOU? I mean, the letter of intent. Is uh, established a contact point between the universities and the Taiwan Academy, and now the Ca Taiwan Academy is a new framework. In this framework, we want to improve the communication of culture for the Chinese language, and also for academic uh, study of uh, Chinese uh, uh, history and uh, civilization. Hmm. Now. Um and and do you also, uh, as far as business is concerned, how what is the main industry in Taiwan? IT industry, that's uh, our major uh, uh, GDP income. Plus, the, we have the uh, OEM, o OBM, OEM um, manufacturing of the wafers, you know, the computer chips, mm. uh, all the computer parts, the hardware. And plus, we have the LCD, the screen, you know, like the TV screen. Right. Yeah, we have two major producers in Taiwan. And now we are doing the biotechnology and the high-end agriculture, green energy, and all these uh, new dimensions is for our uh, future industrialization. Wow. Well, Director General, uh, obviously, we're going to get to much more talking to you. Um, uh, beautiful country we've seen it from the videos that you've been giving us and and we air here at coral gables television on saturdays and sundays we have some videos that we air from uh taiwan beautiful and we congratulate you on your mission here Thank you. in coral gables and for choosing coral gables as as your uh, headquarters uh and we're going to take a, a quick break right now but when we return the director general has a very special treat for us and you at home as well and of course you will not want to miss it we'll be right back Can I help you, sir? Uh, I found this over by the stairs. OK, thank you. What are they? Love handles. Lots of people lose them taking the stairs instead of the escalator. Welcome back to Coral Gables Now. We have been talking to the Director General Ray Mao of the Taipei Economic and Cultural Office in Miami, which is located right here in Coral Gables. And in an effort to expose us to more of the Taiwanese culture, the Director General has graciously arranged for us here and you at home to experience a tea ceremony. Uh, I have to say that this is my uh, one of my first times. The only other time I've seen a tea ceremony is at the Murakami Gardens. Uh, which is a Japanese yes. garden in, in Boca, so, and it was so relaxing. So I, I'm looking forward to this. Um, and so Jane Tu is here with us. She is an expert uh, in tea ceremonies, Taiwanese community tea expert. Thank you for being here with us, Jane. And what she's uh, done so far is that she's taken hot water and she's poured it into the uh, cups that we will be drinking out of, and it's just to heat up the cup. Exactly, that's the way we always do to serve the tea. Uh, we always be begin with to warm up the teacup and the teapot, keep them in the same temperature. 
Now, um, so there's no microwaves here. Never, never. <laughs> totally wrong. <laughs> So this is something that would happen uh, on a daily basis in Taiwan, uh, in homes, or is there a because I, I, this is an elaborate process? Is this some? Is there a shorter version of this that is done in homes every day? Yes, every day people like to enjoy tea, especially mm -hmm. the uh, senior citizens in the family. They have more time to prepare tea. Okay. Uh, the young people they are in a hurry to work, so they just have a quick uh, uh, drink and uh, eat. So maybe not so much tea drinking by uh, the younger generation. Mm -hmm. Now she's using, um, she's she's poured some uh, uh, tea leaves in the canister, and they're seeping now. They're they're mm -hmm. they're expanding. Uh, tell me about the tea that you're using. Any? Uh, Jen, maybe you know better. What's the name of the tea? Oh, this tea is from Taiwan. Taiwan High Mountain Oolong Tea. It's very good tea. And and it's called oolong tea, or yeah, it's it's oolong, oolong tea. tea. Is it is it is that the popular tea in Taiwan? Yeah, pretty popular. It's popular. Yeah. And is it it's a form of green tea, or is it just uh, is that is it separate from green tea? Uh, separate. Okay. Yeah. And and why would you say that this is one of the best teas? Um, what do you is it the flavor, the aroma? What do you think? Um, to us, the Oolong is the most famous brand in Taiwan. Mm. Uh, in the high mountain, they will grow in a, a height of uh, around 1,500 meters mm -hmm. to 2,000 meters. Uh, they are very tall mountains. In those uh, latitude area, <coughs> the tea can grow in very good quality. Mm -hmm. And also the uh, tea trees can absorb the moist of the, in the mountain. So that's how make it good tea. And this is um, this is served. Uh, this is very popular in in, in uh, when you're gathering with family. Yes. Correct. Yes. This is when you would do something like this. Yes, frequently we do okay. that. So, uh, is this something that you would do? Like we would we would gather for a social activity uh, and drink wine. You would gather socially with friends and family, and you'd serve tea. Yes, very so, often. Okay. Yes. And so now you've poured, and this is and this is now the first serving, and um, and, and now what do you do? Explain to us what, what is the process for us now, uh, for us to... Okay, so um, first round, um, we improve the water like uh, one minute. Uh -huh. uh, so come on, this color. So after one minute, then you can, uh, you pour it, and then this, this would be what we would have. Okay, so how do you hold it? Is there a way of... Uh, okay. of I, I, I serve it for okay. you, and I will show you. Okay. And this is no, the normal serving, right? Yes. Thank you. And the cup is still hot. Yes. Yes, so hot. you hold like that. Mm. And hold the it on before the top you the mm -hmm. you're drinking, you see and the smell. Mm. And you mm. smell very mm. flowery. Mm. That's what I smell, the, the rose mm. roses or something. Very good. Very good, and it doesn't really need sugar, and that's not the no that's not normal to put sugar, correct? Never, <laughs> never, <laughs> never. It's very good. And then if you pour it again, then it's a different flavor. You were saying also, yes. correct? Yes. Okay. Yeah, some flower tea you can put the sugar. Mm -hmm. like the young generation they put the sugar, everything, or some have. Bubble tea in Taiwan is uh -huh. very popular. Bubble tea. Bubble yeah. tea is popular yeah. because they put they put sugar. It's uh, the younger generation likes yeah. the sugar. Yeah. They use uh, we use uh, black tea and sugar and milk. Uh -huh. It's very good. Drink. That's tr that yeah, it's true. You're right because I mean the, when I drink tea, I always put some cream in it and this. Yeah, is yeah, yeah. Bubble tea is have cream. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Bubble tea is for the young generation. They want something uh, fancy uh -huh. and uh, tasty. But uh, for the traditional Chinese uh, and Taiwanese culture, it has to present the tea making process like this plain, clear, and also elegant style. So, and, and you've brought some uh, treats that, is that something that you would normally have with the tea as well? Yes. What is it that you, what, what is it that you have there for us? Uh, it's a pumpkin tea, it's a dry plum, mm -hmm. uh, it's a pineapple cake. 
very healthy, I have yeah. to say. You see? So yeah. this is the pineapple, sure. okay? And that's where that's the container it comes in. Yeah, it's okay. uh, from Taiwan. Okay. It's our very popular dessert. So it's a popular dessert. So, popular. so you guys don't have chocolate? You guys don't like chocolate over there? Not with tea. Yeah, Not with tea. tea. You don't have chocolate, right? No, is that the case? Tea, tea is with coffee, right? With, uh -huh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so this is with the coffee, yeah. yeah. Okay. So this 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 pump this uh, uh, pineapple cake yes. blends more with the tea. Yes, the that's flavor, a good flavor. Uh, get along well. Okay. Uh, that's a good uh, snack for tea drinkers. I've got to say, very healthy too. Yes. Pumpkin seeds yeah. and pl plum dried plums right. as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Very good food. Very nice, um, and and thank you for having us and for um, for basically showing us a part of, of this culture that we would normally never see. It's our pleasure. And we've we've actually I feel like if we've been to Taiwan without actually being there. Well, next time you must go. <laughs> <Please>. <laughs> we have many tea houses in Taiwan. And they do the same thing. So all this really more um, sophisticated. Mm -hmm. It's the surrounding decoration and all the choice of different kind of tea. You have your own choice. You can select which mm -hmm. one you want, yes. and then, and would you go to these tea houses uh, for special occasions, or you would just gather there uh, if you want to talk to someone, or yes, we uh, meet with someone, meet there. people there. We just go there and read mm -hmm. and play chess, or uh, maybe a, a boyfriend girlfriend can have a date in the tea house. Wow, it's a, a social mm -hmm. event, social occasion. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much to both of you. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. And Coral Gables now is just getting started. There's a grassroots group that is trying to raise funds to finish the restoration of the water tower. Plus, giant roses will soon be blooming from this traffic circle. And the Florida Grand Opera selects our city to preview one of its main performances. Those stories and more are coming up next on Coral Gables Now.